guys welcome back to the channel it is Wednesday currently 11 20 in the morning and you know what we've had a pretty slow day so far we started really early thinking that it was gonna be busy could not have been more wrong definitely one of my slowest mornings breakfast whatever you want to call it uh, we're currently sitting at $35 so not so hot <laughs> that's for sure but I guess it's better than nothing. And I think the most annoying part for me this morning is there was a peak pay going on. I had no idea. So after I dropped off the orders, I'm like, oh man, this order was actually really bad. But then I was thinking, imagine if I would have declined it, then I would have like no dollars right now, you know? So we started off pretty pretty good at the beginning with um, Dunkin' Donuts, and then it died. Literally died. I'm like, what is going on? So yeah, definitely not a good day. Hopefully uh, lunch can turn it around. Maybe something for Macy's. Maybe we can get lucky. I really don't know. But you know, we're gonna be here till 7.30. We're here in Tyson's. I don't know if I said that. I think I said that. So you know, hopefully it's busy. But yeah, so now we're making our way towards Tyson's too, just so we can wait for a decent order. There is a peak pay going on of a dollar and 50 cents for the next 10 minutes. So we get lucky with an order. Cool if we don't, it is what it is. Again, we're sitting at $35 here for the entire dash, and we started at 7.30, so definitely not so hot. But every dollar helps, you know? So anyways, again, we have to average $176 the remaining days that I'm dashing to hit the goal of $4,550. So I'm pretty confident that we should be able to do that, you know? Hopefully, hopefully. Anyways, let me make my way back towards Tyson's 2, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Alrighty, guys, after waiting for a very long time, declining a bunch of garbage. We got this one that I'm pretty confident is gonna be a banger. Now showing catering bag, catering bag required 1225 from PF Chang's, a bunch of items. It's only going like three miles. We just got it picked up. The food wasn't ready, wait a few minutes, but I think it's gonna be worth it. It's extremely hot, even though it's only like 80 something, it feels like it's 100. Like it's so hot, all my electronics are getting hot, which really sucks. But you know, we got them in the air vents and whatnot, but yeah. Anyways, hopefully you guys are doing much better than I am. We're not doing bad, but we're also not doing great. But then again, this one, this order right here might make up for the fact that we had a slow morning. Hopefully, hopefully. Anyways, let me get this dropped off and I'm thinking we're gonna get at least 25 bucks out of this. I can't see the subtotal. It doesn't let me do that, but I'm thinking we're gonna get at least 25 bucks. And if we get more than that, I want to be extremely happy. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, we're still making our way here to the drop off, but maybe you have noticed, maybe you haven't, but I wanted to make a little update here with the channel. I have started a membership option here. If you guys want to support me a little bit more than you already do, you guys can go ahead and see the tiers. Only two tiers, just Nova and then Supernova. You know what I'm saying? Um, just, you know, the, the second one gets a little more access with me, one on one and whatnot, more like exclusive type stuff. Uh, but again, you guys don't have to. It's an option. If anyone wants to support me that way, you can. Uh, but again, just watching the videos, liking, sharing, commenting, it's more than enough. But it's an option for people that do want to support me a little bit more. Again, you guys don't have to. It's not required or anything, you know. So anyways, just want to, you know, make that little update there in case if anyone had any questions. Plus, you guys can always ask me anything. You know, I'm pretty much an open book. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let me get this dropped off and we'll see you guys in it. Alrighty guys, we got the order dropped off. The lady was super nice. She was like, oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Have a nice day. And I was like, oh, you're welcome. And then when I went to go, you know, mark it as completed because it was a handed to me, $52 payout. Let's go. Right now we're sitting almost at $90. Shout out to customers that truly appreciate you by showing it to you, you know, with the tip. A lot of people say it and it's like, oh, have a good day. You know, they might throw in like a God bless and things like that. And I'm like, you know, I appreciate the kind words, but you know what I'm saying? Like, where, where's the money at, you know? Um, but we got super lucky with this order here because before that I was getting a bunch of garbage and then before that it was super, super slow. So if anything, it kind of made up for the fact of how slow it was in the morning, if that makes any sense. But then right away we got our next order here from Moby Dick's um, House of Kebabs, 625. I think it's going like two miles, if that. We're already here because we were basically right next to it. So I'm just giving that a few more minutes because I got here super fast. But overall, man, this order right here, make or break a shift. I guess what I mean by that is sometimes it just takes one good order to make your shift. And I imagine if we get a good Macy's or Bloomingdale's, this could be a 250 kind of day. I mean, it's already gonna be a 200 plus kind of day, just, just on, on the grind alone, even if the orders are not there, I'm gonna make it happen somehow, you know? 
anyways let me get this picked up and then we'll see you guys back on the road alrighty guys we got the order dropped off here it's data 625 yeah. right now we're sitting at 9356 it's currently 1225 I'm sorry for the loud fans and the AC, but it's so hot outside. Hopefully you guys understand. Um, but yeah, so we're making our way here towards Tyson's too. Hopefully we can do, you know, a couple more orders here before it goes slow again, because you know it will. It's definitely gonna happen for sure. So I'm hoping that we get, a, you know, a couple of decent offers. Again, I'm always looking just for a good offer. Now when the bangers come through, no complaints, but I'm not actively looking for them. If that makes any sense. So we'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty guys, we just picked up our next order here from Founding Farmers, 625. I wanna say it's going less than two miles. The food was ready. So yeah, I don't mind doing a bunch of you know little ones. As long as the food's ready, no problem, no mileage. Now, it is 12.35, so you know, our window of opportunity is closing here because you know, once the dead times hit, they hit. They hit hard like it's gonna be really slow i can already tell um because you know i don't know how to describe it but you know when you're working and you can just tell what kind of shift it is you know some days you just know you're gonna have to grind other days are like okay it's a little bit busy maybe we don't have to do as much grinding maybe we can get lucky i think today's a, a combination of the two mainly because we got lucky with this order you know from um pf Chanks. before that whew, it was uh full grind mode full struggle mode really um so we'll see what happens Anyways, let me get this dropped off. If I'm not mistaken, this is going to that Jeep dealership. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. So this is actually gonna be a nice tip. If I'm not mistaken, she always tipped really well when she got a McDonald's. Now she's getting founding farmers. So, you know, should be, I think, um, I think when she used to get McDonald's, she would tip like $8 plus a base pay. So I think we're gonna get at least double digits on it. Hopefully I'm right. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Hey guys, so we got the order dropped off. It was actually not going to the Jeep dealership. It was going to the building next to it. So first time there. So, you know, made that mistake, but we still got a nice payout. I think it was paying 825. So now we're over that $100 threshold. We're sitting at 101 with 81 cents. Not too bad, not too bad. And I'm getting bombarded with Chick-fil-A orders when they're all super low paying. Like, come on, come on, really? Let me see here. Yep, I know that everything is like being super low paying here. Well, actually, no, this one isn't so bad. I think I'm gonna take this one. Eight items, 2.2 miles, $7 payout here from Chick-fil-A. We're gonna go ahead and do this order, mainly because, again, we're running out of time. It's gonna be slow soon. So we gotta maximize um, the busy times while they're here. So we're gonna make our way towards Chick-fil-A here. Eight items. I should have looked at them, to be honest, because it could be all drinks or gallons or something. But we're only six minutes away or 1.5 miles away from the Chick-fil-A. So let me let me let me let me, let me, do, let me do that real quick before um what what is this? Let me see, let me see. Okay, uh, one lemonade, two lemonades, that's not bad, two lemonades, and the rest is all like you know, sandwiches and whatnot. So I think it should be a nice little uh, a nice little payout. Seven bucks, eight bucks, whatever, the miles make sense. Um, but I definitely should have looked at the items before I accepted, so. That was, that was a rookie mistake, but, you know, it didn't really affect it a whole lot. So, anyways, let me get this picked up from Chick-fil-A, and then we'll see you guys back on the road. Alrighty, guys, so we get the order from Chick-fil-A dropped off. It stayed at $7. And funny story, right? So, I get to the Chick-fil-A, and it's actually this girl, well, the one that was working at the cashier. It's this girl that, you know, I went on a date with once, like, a long time ago. And I don't know why, you know, we didn't, like, end up pursuing it, I guess, because she was nice. You know, everything was, was, was everything went well, and it was funny because she asked me, "Hey, do you remember me?" And I was like, "Yeah, I remember you." Like, uh, what happened? You know, she's like, "Oh, I don't know." And I guess maybe because I didn't make the first move, she thought that I wasn't interested. And honestly, I think I was just busy. I think I just forgot. Um, so we were chatting for a few minutes, but then she got busy, so I'm about to stop by Chick Fil A here and rekindle something. You never know. But anyways, we're making our way here to Chipotle. 9.25 going 3.5 miles. Hey, I cannot decline that. I cannot pass that up. And this Chipotle is not the one in the mall. It's the one next to the Chick-fil-A, which is that. So I think it should be uh, maybe like a five minute drive from where I'm at right now. Even though I'm super close, it's stupid traffic. That takes forever. Anyways, let me get this picked up and then we'll see you guys back on the road. Alrighty guys, so we got the food picked up. I also stopped by the Chick-fil-A to see what was up, you know I mean? You know, I felt like there was something there. You know with, with this girl and um, she goes oh I have a boyfriend I'm like oh you know it is what it is you know no problem but, she, but you know what she says but you can still have my number if you want 
bro, red flags, red flags. Why? <laughs> Why? Like you just you just told me you had a boyfriend, but you still want to give me your number, knowing that you know there's something there. I don't know. I I, I was like, oh, you know what? I gotta go have another order here at Chipotle. Uh, so we did not take her number because red flags, red flags. So I don't want to. <laughs> that just looks like trouble. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah. That was short-lived, but it's all good. Anyways, we got the Chipotle order picked up. Now we're only five minutes away, man, and that bag, it's about to disintegrate. Like I put it in my little uh, hot bag, but you know, when I when I held it, I grabbed it from the bottom because I could feel the bag, it's like wet from like the, the juices probably from the burrito bowl or whatever. So hopefully it lasts the trip because I hate it. It always happens with Chipotle bags for me. I go, I go to drop it off and then like the bottom part falls out and it's always a mess. But uh, not today though, not today. Anyways, let me get this dropped off and then we'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so we got the order dropped off from Chipotle. It was 925. Then we drove back to Tyson's too and we got this order right here from the Cheesecake Factory. 625, less than a mile, right? Um, and then, my dumbass, I hit, you know, I, I hit that I picked up the order and for whatever reason, I hit it again. And by me doing that, it said that I delivered the order and I was like, oh snap. Like, I'm like, I have no idea where I'm going. I knew that it was close by, you know, but I wasn't sure how close, if that makes any sense. Uh, so I ended up calling support. And then um, after talking to support, uh, she was actually able to reverse that I had completed the order, which was pretty cool. I didn't know they could do that. So my app went from, you know, you've dropped off the order to back to the other screen of you just picked it up. So that was actually extremely helpful because for a hot second, I was like, where am I going? And I'm surprised the customer didn't call me, to be honest. But then when I, you know, it was handed to me, which is why the problem started. Because if it would have been, you know, take the photo and all that stuff, then it would have stopped me. And then I would have realized, oh snap, I'm doing the wrong thing, you know? Um, but it was cool that support was able to basically undo my order. I, I guess undo the completer part, I guess, if that makes any sense. Um, and then when I got to the lady, I apologized. She was like, oh, I was just confused because it said it was delivered. And then it said it wasn't delivered. And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm basically headed as completed by accident. But she was really nice. So now we're sitting at 125 with 31 cents. It's 210 in the afternoon. Now, we could probably do one more order here before the Macy's drop, as long as the miles make sense. So we're not too far away from Macy's. Now, we did get some orders from Bloomingdale's, but they don't, they don't make any sense. We're going way too far. So. We didn't take any of those. So hopefully we get lucky with some orders from Macy's. Let's go. Alrighty guys, it's been a couple of hours and no luck with Macy's or Bloomingdale's. So the last two days we've struck out with uh, Bloomingdale's or Macy's. Super, super slow. We got some food. We did one order here off screen from PF Chang's that became $8.75. And right now we've been just waiting. It's uh, 445 and I think we're sitting around like 133, 134. It's just slow. It's just slow. Again, no luck with Macy's. It got a few offers, but they were really bad. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, it's been rough. Anyways, we stopped by. Got an energy drink so I can wake up a little bit. Um, not a huge fan of these, but every now and then, you know, it is what it is. It is zero sugar, so, you know. Anyways, let me see how long this is going to take. I'm just going to edit my videos or watch from YouTube until we get another order. Oh, and by the way, uh, my shift was uh, my shift. I ended my shift by accident, and then you know we got back on right away, so no big deal. Um, but yeah, so definitely uh, lots of ups and downs. I'm still very grateful that we got the nice order uh, earlier from PF Chase because without that, it would be a rough shift. Hopefully, we can do what we did yesterday. Um, if not, at least 176. That's the minimum goal, you know, to hit 4,550. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, so we'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty guys, we just picked up our first, I guess, official dinner, dinner, order for dinner uh, from the Founding Farmers. Now, I think it might be a banger, to be honest. It's showing, I wanna say 12.75 for the uh, initial payout. It's a couple of items, it's over $100. They asked me for a photo of my catering bag. Um, it does have some alcoholic drinks. And here in Virginia, they recently passed some laws where like third-party dri drivers have to be certified by the state so you know DoorDash was trying to try do all these incentives you know make sure you're certified by this day we'll give you 50 bucks or whatever so I did that um, and I think actually they just gave me the $50 so it took forever but it's all good 
So even the lady at the restaurant, she was going over like, oh, it's alcohol and this and that. And I was like, oh yeah, I understand, no problem. So now we're 17 minutes away or 5.6 miles. A little bit of traffic, it is 5.15, so we're gonna catch traffic. It doesn't matter what direction I'm going, we're gonna catch some traffic. But I'm hoping that it's gonna be a banger, hopefully. And hopefully we don't have any issues with the IDs because lately the app has been so glitchy scanning the ID for whatever reason I gotta scan the front and it takes a while. It's not like it used to be. You would scan the back, no problem. And it's funny because DoorDash says it's supposed to be easier now and I think it's a lot harder. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Let's go. So basically, I got here to the customer's house, scanned the ID, he signed, and then it keeps crashing. We tried it multiple times, so here we are calling support so they can mark the order as delivered, because it's pretty annoying. So yeah, we'll see how long this takes. It sucks. I'm wasting so much time. Well, so the video is not crazy long. I'll just loop you guys in once I get a hold of someone. So I'm trying to drop off the order here for uh, Jonathan from Founding Farmers. And I don't know what's wrong with the app, but I've, I've scanned his ID, he signed for the order, but then the app keeps crashing. It goes back to scan the ID again. So we've already scanned it like three or four times. Um, so I don't know if you can help me mark the order as delivered. Right, but I mean, every time I try to complete the order, it starts back up, so I can't, I can't mark it as delivered on my app. It won't let me. Okay, thank you. Okay, no problem. Thank you. That's fine. Thank you. Yo, I don't know if you guys could understand what he was saying, but I caught like 30% of that. You know? But yeah, very annoying. So I might not take any more alcohol orders. Because I'm wasting so much time with this, you know? It's already almost, what, 540. So, it's not the end of the world or anything, but still. It's kind of annoying, you know? <sighs> Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Uh, specific orders. 
Yeah, it's good. I see it on my app. Thank you. Oh, no, that, that's all. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much as well. Have a good night, Stacey. Bye for now. Hey, thank you. Bye-bye. Alrighty, guys. So there you have it. I think he was just lying. He said, I don't know if you guys caught it or not, but he said the app is having some kind of glitch or something. I mean, it could be true. I don't know. Um... But very annoying. Um, yeah, like I said, I might not do any more alcohol orders just because of that. Because it makes it a pain in the butt to um, complete it. I mean, I, I wasted an extra 10 minutes or so. Now, the order was most definitely a banger. We had like $8.75. Now, now I'm showing $37.85. So, of course, whatever's on the screen for you guys, that's what's accurate. But it definitely was totally worth it. The customer was pretty nice, too. Um, but, yeah. I mean, he was getting frustrated. Uh, and honestly, he was kind of weirded out by the fact that I had to scan the front of his ID. Um, but whenever I do that, I always make sure that I show them what I'm doing. So I don't, want, I don't want him to think that I'm taking a photo of their ID or something, you know? Um, but you know what's interesting? A lot of people like that, like that, like the fact that I have a tablet. I think maybe look, it makes it look more official or something. Or maybe they think it's from DoorDash. Um, but it's not, obviously. <laughs> it's my tablet. Um, but yeah. So now I'm not entirely sure what we're sitting at, but I'm pretty confident that we are over 150, I think, I think. Um, but yeah, so I'm, like I said, I'm probably not gonna take uh, any alcohol order because of this glitch or whatever's going on with the app. Unless, of course, it's a banger for sure, then you know, I'll risk it and then we'll do the whole process again. Um, but yeah, definitely very annoying. The fact that it does, it basically what's happening is it scans you know the uh, the ID they sign and then it loads it goes it goes um, successful or success or whatever but then it goes back again to scan the ID again so it's like what the heck you know anyway it's just a minor inconvenience I know it's more like a first world problem type of issue but it's just annoying um, plus you know DoorDash always says they're a technology company you know and their technology sucks like 80% of the time so um, yeah anyways now we do have like a 15 minute drive back um, to basically my neck of the woods here in Tyson's, which is fine. Hopefully we'll get something along the way. I'm technically not even in the zone right now. I'm actually not sure what zone I'm in right now. I wanna go with maybe like Annandale, I, I don't know. And anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty guys, we are running out of time. It's already six o'clock. And then we got this order here from Safeway, $15 payout. I think it's going like three miles, 3.4 miles. Only like six items, I think. Uh, and I looked at all of them. I've actually, I know exactly where they are because the lady from yesterday had a couple of the same items. So we should have no problem shopping for this. Hopefully they have everything. And if they don't have something, hopefully the customer is responsive. That's honestly my biggest annoyance with these orders. Like if people are placing these orders, wouldn't you want to be by your phone in case like we have a question or something? I don't know. Anyways, we're only five minutes away here from the Safeway. Let's go. Alrighty guys, your boy's becoming an expert shopper. Now, we're technically 21 minutes into the order because the driver utility app keeps track from when you accept the order uh, until you complete it. So I think from when we accepted to when we got to the um, Safeway, it was maybe like seven, eight minutes. And now we're 21 minutes in. I think we we'll probably spent maybe 10, 12, 12, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 11, I don't know. Uh, and honestly, it would have been quicker, but of course, the last item that I needed, it didn't have the right one. Like she won, she wanted the 16 ounce, they only had the eight ounce. Luckily, I called her and she answered, so shout out to her. So I ended up getting her two of the eight ounce, so that's 16, so no worries. Now we're on our way to drop this off. We're like four minutes away. It is going to an apartment, but they have very small stuff, so no problem. Again, you know, we're becoming expert shoppers, you know. The only time that I really get scared of the shopping orders is if I see, if I see a lot of produce, then I get kind of worried. But so far, we haven't really had a whole lot of produce. The one yesterday had a little bit, nothing crazy. So we'll see. Anyway, it's currently 6.20, so by the time we're done, maybe 6.25. So I think we should be able to do maybe two more orders, maybe three. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, we got the order dropped off. I didn't realize there was peak pay going on. They, the app never tells me when there's peak pay going on. 
Anyways, I think I had like an 850 base pair, I think. Maybe a $5 tip and then the dollar peak, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, now we're currently sitting around 177, so we've made enough already, you know, to basically be on track here for the goal to end the month on a good note. Oh, look at this order here, eight bucks. Eight bucks, seven miles, Never mind. <laughs> Let me go ahead and decline this real quick. You know what was cool about this building that I went to? So when you get inside the concierge, this man has been here for like forever. And what's really cool about it is that it had all his like accolades and accomplishments and recognition from like the management of the of the building. I feel like you don't see that anymore. You know, I feel like at a lot of places it's more like it's kind of like a, like a forgotten job or whatever to be the concierge. But this guy, man, he had his plaques. You know, tw 25 years of service, and all kinds of things that I feel like you don't really see that anymore. You know, so it was kind of nice. And you could tell that you know he takes a lot of pride in his job. Super nice guy. Made it really simple. He's like, hey, you know, he basically told me where to go. Cause you know, a lot of these buildings are super complicated for no reason, you know? So anyways, right now it's currently 6.35. So we basically have enough time here to maybe do a couple more orders. Maybe get close to $200. Originally I thought we were gonna do 200 for sure. And then it got really, really slow. And then Macy's didn't really exist or Bloomingdale's didn't really help. So that kind of sucked. Anyways, let me make my way back towards um, Civilization because right now I'm in the middle of nowhere. Actually, I'm gonna take this order right here from Pasa Thai. I don't even know where this place is at, but according to the map, I'm right next to it. So we're gonna go ahead and risk it. Um, 725, which really means it's 625. Oh, nice. I made the right turn perfect. Oh, I've, I've been here before. Never mind. I know exactly where it, is, where it is. I just didn't recognize the name. So we're already pulling up here to this Thai place. As you can see, we were basically right there. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's showing 725, going like two miles, I think. Now, the pickup time is in 10 minutes, and we are already here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and go inside, anyways. The only places that you don't really want to go inside early, or I guess it doesn't really matter, it's like on the border. On the border is always slow. I feel like no matter where it is in, uh, in the United States, they suck. Anyways, let me see if the food is ready, and then we'll see you guys back on the road. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, we got the order dropped off. It stayed at 725. Now, it's currently 650. So we basically have enough time to do one more order, but only if we get it in the next 10 minutes. If it's after seven, realistically, we're probably not gonna have enough time to do any more orders, which kind of sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure we are in the mid 80s, 180s. So I'm trying to get as close as we can to 200, uh, but you know, it's not, DoorDash is not cooperating. We haven't gotten a single offer since doing the last drop off. Again, it is what it is. I'm not too far away here from Tyson's too, so I'm really hoping we can do uh, one more before we call it a day, hopefully, let's go. Alrighty guys, unfortunately we cannot do any more orders. We did accept this one right here from It's Just Wayne's, which is Magiano's, it's Ghost Kitchen and 7-Eleven. And this order would have put us over the top, over uh, $200 for the entire day. But when I got to Magiano's, they're like, oh, it's gonna be a 25 more minute wait. I was like, what, 25 more minutes? Now, normally I would have found a sign that anyways, cause it's, you know, that's an outrageous amount of time uh, in the middle of, of dinner. But I had to unassign it because I was gonna be late for work if I waited for it. So, sucks, but we had to unassign both orders and then we're out of time. So, we're gonna finish the dash here at 185 with 41 cents. $11, I think, or, or not 11, $9 above the daily goal to hit 4,550, which is great. But considering the hot start we had uh, during the uh, lunchtime with a huge $50 order, kinda sucks that we couldn't even break $200. Now, breakfast was pretty slow, I'm not gonna lie. But even so, I feel like we should have made more money. But I know that I did everything I could with what I had, so, I mean, it is what it is. Again, we're only $15 shy of 200 bucks. That's still a pretty successful day, you know? So anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming along on today's Dash. We'll see you on the next video. Stay safe. Peace.